Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Romero Cards and today we are going to be making this really cute card, this one, using some products from the Makers Movement. So sit back, relax, grab some coffee, some popcorn, a puzzle, your dog, your cat, whatever you want to do, and watch this video as I go along to make this card. You guys have a great day. See you in the video. So the first thing you're gonna see here is me doing my little hand dance as I get ready to start making a video. I'm listening to music and I just do a little dance with my hands. I've never really showed that before. But anyway, we are gonna be using the Snowflake Kisser stamp from the Makers Movement. We're also gonna be using their paper pack here. I'll show you some of the paper. Really pretty, love this paper, it's great. We're also going to be using some black cardstock, some white cardstock to do some stamping on. We're going to be using some snowflakes here from the Maker's Movement that you can use in like little shaker cards or glue on top of your card. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I know I've never actually done a video with the Maker's Movement because usually I'm just doing Instagram posts for them, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to make a video. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and collect the images and the sentiment that we want to have placed onto the card. I'm going to go ahead and place those in my mini misty and I'm going to go ahead and get some alcohol alcohol ink friendly black ink so that we can do some copic coloring. So I'm just going to use some ink on 3 uh ink here. It's a hybrid ink, so this is okay with copic markers. And we're going to go ahead and get that stamped out and I do stamp it out twice. I don't show you in the video, but I do stamp it out twice to get a good crisp image. And then we're going to go ahead and take this out of the misty, and we are going to start coloring. Now, what I'm doing here is pretty basic, so you know it doesn't really require too much work here. So I hope you guys are able to get it. I'm going to leave the coloring in so you can take a look at it, and um, you know just come back in about I think I'm not for sure what time. Let me see here. One second. If you go to minute. 336 then that's when the coloring ends so i'm going to go ahead and let you listen to some music watch me color and i'll be back in a few moments Okay, now that we have the coloring done, we are going to go ahead and get these uh, cut out through the die cutting machine. As you can see there, I was just snipping off the edges of the die. And then I'm going to go ahead and get the matching die here for the snow, the snow people, um, you know, snowmen, snow woman, snow people. We just, everything's a snow person, I guess we should say. So we're gonna go ahead and get this tape down and we're gonna stick it through the die cutting machine and we'll go ahead and get these cut out. Um, you do see that it's not fully on frame because I need to make sure that this was straight. So we have all this cut out. Now what we're gonna do is find some paper that is gonna match. And we're gonna use uh, this picture, or I'm sorry, this paper with the snow people on it. And it's pretty thick, I thought it was actually too pieces stuck together, but it's actually one. Here you can see all the pool color cardstock that I have, and it's because I'm crazy. You don't need that much, but you know, I've been doing this for six or seven years, so that's why I have so much of it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut this down to four and a quarter uh, by five and a half, and then uh, from there, we will just keep it at that size, and then the printed paper here, we are gonna cut at four, by five and the quarter, so it will have a little frame that goes around it, a little blue frame. 
And then I'm going to cut the blue actually down to a little bit more than four and a little bit more than five and a quarter. You guys, I don't know my measurements. I need to learn it. Sorry. But that's because I wanted to put a black border around this. And you guys know I love a black border, so I had to do it. So I'm just testing everything out here, making sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to go ahead and start gluing uh, all these pieces together. So I'm just going to use some honeybee glue here and honeybee stamps glue and go ahead and get that placed on the back of the pool colored cardstock. And we're going to make sure that that's even around every edge because we want it to be perfect. And then we're also going to do the same thing with the uh, printed cardstock here so that we can um, go ahead and get this layered on. I have the glue all the way around and I'm going to go ahead and place that onto the blue and hopefully my head doesn't show up so that it doesn't and I got it even. How is it even possible? Didn't know it was possible. Anyway, now what we're going to do is put some 3M foam tape on the back of the figures and we'll put it on the back of the sentiment also and we'll go ahead and remove the backing papers from this. I'm going to go ahead and place the little snow people onto the card. We're going to make sure it's centered, and it is, and then we're going to go ahead and center the sentiment also. Let's make sure it's centered. Let's get the card lined up. There we go. And now I'm going to show you how I put stuff onto cards when it comes to sequins and stuff. Usually I just sprinkle it when there's a bunch of them, and then I move around if I need to. Um, nothing too complicated here. So now we're going to go ahead and get the, all the little snowflakes glued down to the card. And it takes a few minutes to do that because there's about 200 of them. Not, not that many, but yeah. So here we go. We have the rest of them glued down. And then what we're going to do is take this and we're going to glue it down to uh, the card base because it actually has not been glued down to the card base, which is um, 110 pound Nina solar white cardstock um, cut at five and a quarter by five and a half. It's a top folding card. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Make sure that you head over to the Makers Movement website and check out all their lovely products there. Also, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video, please. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're enjoying about this series. Anything changed um, regarding my videos, what you like and you don't like? Let me know. And then also you can go check me out over on Instagram by checking for Bromero Cards. And you can check out some of the creations I make that I do not make videos for. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great week and I will talk with you later. Bye.